Hi everybody, Amazing Zane here, and today we're going to be looking at the Ninjago Summer 2021 sets, and I'm going to be expressing my opinions for them. Now let's get into this. Starting with the Season 15 sets, or C-Bound sets, we have Lloyd's Hydro Mech. I am super happy to see Lloyd getting another mech, because the last mech he got was in Season 11, and that was the first show-based mech he got. So I'm super happy to see Lloyd with another mech. Also, this is the cheapest way to get the Ocean Amulet, which is the one collectible for this series. So that's pretty cool. And also you get Gloyd and one of the Hydro Vipers, because that's what I'm calling them so far. We don't really have an exact name for the bad guys foot soldiers at the time of the recording of this video. Next up, we have the Ninja Sub Speeder. I really like the box art on this, and I especially like how it seems that all the C-Bound sets are going to have the Wojira snake design in the bottom left corner and powered up Nia in the top right corner. I also like how you can see Ninjago City flooding in the background. And the minifig selection is pretty neat too. You get Jay, Cole, and two Hydro Vipers, plus this really interesting car build that uses reuses the Boulder Blaster cockpit piece from earlier this year. Really good set in my opinion. Next we have the Water Dragon. There really doesn't seem to be a rider or a saddle for this, but I like the submarine side build. It's rumored that the Water Dragon is going to be the elemental form of Zippy the Jungle Dragon, and that I have a feeling that somehow Nia is going to be using this in the show. Also, I like how you get Kalmar and the little area for keeping the um, ocean amulet. I like these sets so far. Pretty good. And next up, we have the Hydro Bounty. I really like this. This seems to be an underwater version of the Destiny's Bounty. And I'm hoping that we get all six ninja in the set, even though only Jay, Lloyd, Nia, and Zane went underwater in the show. But you also get Kalmar with a chariot that appears to be pulled by a manta ray, so that's interesting. And you also get another one of those submarine builds, actually two, which we saw in the last set we looked at. Wrapping up Season 15 sets, we have the Temple of the Endless Sea. This is a very interesting build, and it has yet another one of those submarine things. We also have Kalmar in the middle of the temple, and we also have Powered Up Nia as a minifig. As far as we know, this is the only way to get that minifig, and I think she looks pretty cool. I also like the inclusion of the Wojira Serpent build, but I wish that they had made an entire set that was just a Wojira build, because I think that if they did, it would have been more poseable. Also, I like the inclusion of the Ocean Amulet, but I wish that... It came with the storm amulet, and the head was big enough so you could put both amulets on Wojira's forehead like it is in the show. But this is probably my favorite of these C-Band sets. Now let's move on to Legacy sets. They're not as interesting as the ones you just saw, just so you know. This is the Legacy remake of the Fire Dragon from the pilot seasons. Fun fact about this is that its original is actually the oldest set to be remade as a Legacy set. I really like this dragon. It is so much better than the last one we got for juniors. And I have a feeling that the golden figure included in this set, if there will be at all, will be golden Nia because we already have a normal Zane figure. This is just awesome. I would probably buy this if I hadn't been saving up for Ninjago City Gardens. Next up, we have the remake of the Ultrasonic Raider. This... I kind of would rather look at official pictures before I have opinions on it because it's a bit hard to tell what it is because it's just a preliminary image and it's just, I'm going to, I think I would wait till official images come out. So stay tuned for that. The penultimate of the legacy sets is probably the worst legacy set of all time. It is the remake of the Final Flight of Destiny's Bounty, but it's a junior set. I mean, yeah, they have to be 
simplified for little kids, but I mean, it just looks ridiculous. So does the last legacy set on this list, Kai's Blade Cycle, which just, it's just funny looking. It, I like how you use this junior chassis that's interesting and how you get another remake of a legacy Hypnobri figure. But these sets are just awful. I mean, for junior quality, they're bad. I mean, even the Electromech was pretty bad too, but if I had to rank them, the Electromech would be the worst, the Bounty second worst, and this the best out of those three. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Bye.